Working in South Korea is one of the easiest ways to relocate to the land of the morning calm. Having a job not only guarantees you a visa, but also helps foreigners integrate into the country and start meeting locals and expats alike. However, expats should be aware that basic knowledge of the Korean language is crucial to landing a job. It is among the top choices for ESL teachers when considering which country to teach English abroad. The teaching salaries in South Korea are high, while the job often comes with perks like covered airfare, housing, and insurance. So here are the 10 best places to live or work in South Korea. Ten, Anyang, another Seoul's outskirts city on the list besides Suwon is Anyang. It's located in Jeonggi Province, around 30 kilometers southwest of Seoul, with the perfect balance of urban cities and relaxing rural atmosphere. The population of Anyang is around 600,000. It's got plenty of great nature and beautiful sights as well. Many foreign ESL teachers choose to reside in Anyang, as it's close to all the necessary convenience, close to the exciting capital Seoul yet isn't too overwhelming and still offers many great activities. 9. Jeju City Jeju Volcanic Island is South Korea's most popular holiday destination. Being isolated, Jeju got its own distinct language and culture. Jeju City is the capital of Jeju Island, with approximately 400,000 residents. The climate here is temperate and comfortable to live in year-round. It's not only beautiful, full of outdoor activities, but also has an increasing demand for foreign ESL teachers. 8. Ulsan Ulsan is located in the south of South Korea and is the seventh largest city with one plus million people. It's the industrial hub where automobiles are manufactured, home to Hyundai Motor Company assembly plant. Ulsan also got the largest shipyard and the world's third largest oil refinery. It's also a beautiful scenery with sandy beaches and better climate than many northern cities. 7. Suwon Suwon is the capital of Jeonggi-do province and a major city with 1 million residents. It's located only 30 kilometers away from Seoul. Suwon used to be a small town and center for agricultural products. It's now a hub for technological research and development as well as electronics manufacturing. It's home of Samsung's main branch and flagship factory. It's the only city in Korea that's walled, making a unique tourist attraction. Overall, Suwon attracts many foreigners to live and teach English here, thus its foreigner population is quite huge. 6. Gwangju Gwangju is a metropolitan city in the southwest of South Korea and the sixth largest city in South Korea. It's a major manufacturing and trade hub with local administration. It's also an important transportation junction that connects with the two big cities, Seoul and Busan. The city is well known for its rich and diverse cuisine and heaven for foodies from all over the world. The demand for English teachers here is huge and constantly rising. Thus, there are many job opportunities for foreign ESL teachers in Guangzhou. 5. Daejeon Daejeon has approximately 1.5 million people. The city used to be a small village and eventually grew into a large metropolitan city. It's famous for development in science and technology. It is a destination that combines discovery, adventure, and a change of scenery. Considered as the high-tech capital of the country, you can do an internship abroad in this field. Lots of foreigners leave and study or work here in Daejeon. Therefore, foreign ESL teachers should easily find an English teaching job here. 4. Daegu Daegu is the third largest city in the southeast of South Korea, with 2.5 million in population. The city is located in a valley surrounded by mountains. You will be able to move by the cable car between the mountains. It is a charming city where Korean culture and traditions are well preserved. The city offers a variety of things to see or do. Visit temples, museums, shopping. Go to the oldest park in the city. Visit the 83 Tower. It has been the administrative, economic and cultural center of South Korea for centuries. The city experienced explosive growth in the 1950s and is well known for its textile, metal and machine building industries. 
3. Incheon You probably have heard of Incheon as it's the name of South Korea's largest international airport. Incheon City is right next to Incheon Airport, so one of its perks is the ease of traveling. The city itself is bustling and offers lots of diversity. It's South Korea's third largest city and home to around 3 million people. It's the perfect place for those who want convenience but shy away from congestion and noise and crowds. You can do shopping, enjoy the beach, admire the beautiful scenery, drink in bars and even if you are a little peckish, you can go for a good meal in a restaurant. The cost of living here is also slightly cheaper than in Seoul. Two, Busan. Busan is only second to Seoul by size and population approximately 3.5 million people. It's a port city with many beautiful beaches. Busan Port is the fifth busiest port in the world. Located in the southeast of South Korea, the weather is much nicer here. It doesn't get as cold as it does in Seoul. Thus, Busan is named the summer capital of South Korea. It's perfect for your international internship. You will have the paradise side but also the work side. The pay for ESL teachers is very competitive in Busan. 1. Seoul The famous capital of South Korea is home to 10 million people. The metropolitan area has around 25 million people. Half the country's population. It's located on the Han River, in the northwest of South Korea, and bordered by many mountains. It is a city of cultural and tourist sites. It is a city built for the curious, because there's so much to do in Seoul. It's the most attractive, though very competitive destination for ESL teachers in South Korea. There are always something going on in Seoul. Concerts, events, festivals, even hiking tours, etc. After a day of internship, you can explore the creativity between fashion, cuisine, architecture, and art. As with any other big city, the pay is higher, and the cost of living is also higher in Seoul. Thus, you may not be able to save as much as living in rural areas. 